Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sue Ellen Bowman. I have two kids. Samuel is almost four. He's gonna be four in November. And Isaac is 18 months old. I have uh, Daniel is my husband. He is a nurse and I stay at home as a mom. This video is about a decision that we have made. My husband is not here with me right now, but maybe he will join us in another video to talk about it. But I just wanna talk to you a little bit about trying to conceive baby number three. So yes, guys, we have decided, yay! We have decided that we're gonna try for the third baby. Some will think we are crazy, <laughs> but no, we, we are, um, we're very, there are emotional reasons and rational reasons, but we are very um, aware of uh, the challenges of having three kids. I wanted to let you guys know. I wanted I wanted to show to share with you the news of uh, our decision of wanting to try to conceive for the third baby, and explain you why. So, one of one of the reasons we wanted to try to conceive is because I am the oldest of three girls. So I have two sisters younger than me, and uh, I am uh, one year and a half year older than my middle sister and I'm about four years older than my youngest sister so we all close apart uh, in, in age and my husband he is the middle brother so he has an older sister than him I think they are one year and four months apart and then he is about five years apart from his uh, youngest brother both of us were raised in a family of five and uh, we just we just like the idea of having three kids at least we have two kids we're very blessed we are very happy and content that we have two beautiful gifts from god this is the, that is samuel and isaac in our lives and at the same time if it's, if it's God's will for our lives to have more children, we would be very happy to have more children. So we, I think uh, Daniel and I, we have, we, we've always wanted at least three kids. Since the beginning of our marriage, since, every, since we started talking about having children, we always thought about having three or even four kids. Later when I got pregnant and then I had Samuel and uh, after having Samuel I was already like super excited about having a second one even when Samuel was still a babe I think he was I don't know three four months old and then of course we postponed the decision because Samuel was too young but then when Samuel hit 18 months old we got pregnant and it was like super planned both pregnancies with Samuel and Isaac. We planned both of our kids to the date. We did not have any kind of complicated uh, issues with uh, getting pregnant the two, the two times. But right now, this is the third, um, third time we want to try for a baby. And we know people that have tried with no problems for the first kid and then the second kid has a problem or even two kids and then the third time they just have some kind of issue and uh, so we uh, don't want to wait a long time to have kids also due to my age and I also said that for my previous um, pregnancy before I got pregnant for Isaac I said the same thing about getting pregnant for Isaac I didn't want to wait a long time due to, due, due to my age so I'm 34 years old I know I'm still young and I know people have pregnancies even after their 40s but we all know that when you go to the doctor and I actually went to the doctor um, to the OB doctor a year uh, I had some postpartum questions for him uh, it was like a few weeks ago when I went to the to my OB doctor I asked him if uh, uh, what is the timeline for me to get pregnant if he if I have the green light basically medically speaking and he said that basically you think more about my uh, baby's health than my health because if I'm older than if I'm 36 or older then you have higher chances of having a baby with uh, some kind of chromosomal um, 
defect or any kind of like I don't know some kind of defect or so that's what the the OB doctor told me that he would think more about this the health of the baby than my health because for me he didn't say any, anything that would stop me from getting pregnant he basically said that like I'm, I can get pregnant whenever I want to it's more about the baby so uh, I don't want to wait too long because I did have a small complicated not too complicated but I had with my first pregnancy with Sam I had gestational diabetes and it was not complicated at all because I had I uh, was able to control my, my sugar levels just with the diet so I didn't have to take insulin and I did not have issues with the birth itself the baby uh, I, uh, Samuel was 8 pounds and then with Isaac I ended up not having gestational diabetes so it was an uncomplicated pregnancy and he was born with 8 pounds and 1 ounce so if you compare both pregnancies the one with gestational diabetes the baby was even 1 ounce smaller but anyways um, because I already had the gestational diabetes, I think I'm having a, ha a higher chance of having again for my next, next pregnancies. Thank God I didn't have with the second one. But I don't want to have uh, many compli compli uh, complications for my next pregnancy. So one of the reasons that we want to get pregnant is because of that. The second reason is because also I, I wanted my kids to be close in age so they have good friends and Isaac and Samuel they are two years apart and so if we if we got pregnant right now the third kid third baby would be uh, two years apart from Isaac and so I think that's uh, ideal we liked that age gap and I think we want to continue that way oh yes and the the other reason is because also Isaac self-weaned and it makes me sad but when he was 18 months old, well, he was about, it was maybe a week ago that this happened. He, he just doesn't want to breastfeed anymore. So even like I was insisting for weeks and weeks uh, after 18 months old, he just didn't want to breastfeed anymore. So I was, I was insisting in the mornings when he wakes up and when he was going to bed and even the afternoon when he would breastfeed a little bit but not for a long time and I've noticed that when I didn't offer he just didn't ask anymore so I realized that he was actually self-weaning I started drying up and I had a decision to make either I was gonna have to pump to actually breastfeed him or I was just gonna let just accept that he self-weaned and just introduce him just continue introducing him to uh, milk and stuff like that so I decided to let him self-win because I am accomplished that he was able to breastfeed for 18 months he's a healthy baby boy he I mean he's not a baby anymore he's already 18 months old I don't know why I call him a baby but so I'm happy there's a little bit of sadness at the same time this bittersweet kind of feeling but I'm, I'm, I'm really content and happy that he was able to breastfeed for 18 months. When I was pregnant of Isaac, I breastfed Samuel throughout my whole pregnancy. And so this is going to be a different experience since if I get pregnant, I'm not going to be breastfeeding for the entire pregnancy anymore. But anyways guys, I just wanted to update you guys about those... Um, about us so stay tuned for my next videos and uh, i think that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and like this video please and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye bye